Hey, what's up, guys? John here. Roughly half of American states are moving in a direction to increase minimum wage. The minimum wage goes up for workers in 23 states, including New York and New Jersey. Fast food workers are celebrating after Governor Gavin Newsom signed a law that will raise the minimum wage to $20 an hour. And what if I were to tell you that one of the heads at the White House is moving in a direction, and they've been moving in this direction, to increase the likelihood of a universal basic income coming nationwide? How does this sound? A paycheck every month, even if you do not have a job. It is called universal basic income, and it's gaining in popularity. Guaranteed income are popping up around the country as local governments look for new ways to address poverty in their region. Now, there's some really, really big things happening behind the scenes that are being blanketed under the umbrella of combating inequality. Now, if you're a business owner, an entrepreneur, or just an American, you have to pay very close attention to the chain of events that are unfolding, because what I believe is very likely going to happen is we're walking into a deflationary depression. We're gonna see prices continue to fall, not increase. It might sound far-fetched, but if you hear what's actually happening, you look at the facts, what you're gonna to start to see here is something really, really shocking. It's gonna be inflationary and then deflationary. So we're walking into an inflationary, then deflationary, depression that's going to change the American economy like we've never seen before. Please hit the like button. When you hit the like button, YouTube will share this content to educate the people about what's really going on. And if you'd like to fix your credit, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, any negative item under credit for, go to greatcreditfast.com. And if you are a business owner or you want to be a business owner, you want business credit, you want to get access to loans, you're going to need great credit. Don't let a bad credit score get in the way of a great business. Take a look at this. So here are the states increasing minimum wage in 2024. These are just some of them. Alaska, California, Connecticut, Florida, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Montana, New Jersey, Nevada, Ohio, Oregon, South Dakota, Washington. You, know, you get the idea. But what CNN's saying is that if you increase minimum wage, it's actually, it increases employment. So increasing minimum wage increases the amount of jobs available. It makes no sense. You're increasing the cost for a business owner to stay in business. How would that increase more jobs being available? It doesn't. But what this does do is it, pers it perfectly segues America into the direction in which they want it to go. So look at this. So in, I mean, this is as of October 5th, there's 453,000 workers that were on strike. 453,000, and that's month old news, you know, six weeks old, five weeks old news, right? That number's closer probably to 500,000. Now you had Portland schools went on strike, you had a few other strikes that have happened as well. So you start to see these strikes that are unfolding, and you have to ask yourself why. Why is all this perfectly orchestrated? Why are all these things happening in unison, perfectly? Right? What are the odds of this happening at this level where every single week another big, big, big entity or big organization goes on strike? Well, they say small business owners, I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect back to that, but I want you to think about that for a second. They say small business owners are not feeling optimistic about the current economic environment as they continue to feel the impact of inflation and hiring struggles, according to a new survey from the National Federation of Independent Businesses. In October, the NFIB's optimism index was 90.7%, a 0.01% drop from September, marking the 22nd consecutive month below the index's 50-year average of 98, the last time the index so this was uh, in December 2021. The October data shows that small businesses are still recovering and owners are not optimistic about better business conditions. Small business owners are not growing their inventories as labor and energy prices are falling, making a gloomy outlook for the remainder of the year. So when you look at what's happening here with all of these you know, fast food workers, you look at what's going on uh, with minimum wage, because minimum wage generally is retail, it's fast food, you know, it's servers, uh, bus, uh, bus boys, you know, uh, hostesses. These are a lot of the, you know, minimum wage jobs, right? And so when you look at a lot of the states that are changing, you have to ask yourself, well, what's going to be the solution? Well, if you look at IRS section uh, 179, it's called bonus depreciation, you're allowed, businesses are allowed to invest in equipment for their businesses. And so what does this have to do with minimum wage? Well, this is what's happening. They can purchase robotics and technology. They can invest in their business, and this is how it would work. So let's say, for example, it's a $1,260,000 equipment purchase, right? The first year, they can write off a $1,160,000, right? The first year. And then 80% bonus, first year depreciation. Normal first year depreciation would be zero. Total first year depreciation, a million two forty. 
cash savings, $260,000, right? So you start to look at this, then you start to look at you know, what Chipotle is doing and you start to look at what McDonald's is doing. The technology that they have through automation is so incredible. It is so incredible that no human, no human alive could do it. And let me give you an example. They have it set up, you know, at this location, for example, they have it set up to where when you drive through, you go through the drive through in your vehicle, it scans your license plates. It has your former orders. They know, okay, you like the, you know, the Big Mac combo. Then they try to upsell you the apple pie. They try to upsell you the, you know, the caramel sundae. They know what you would likely buy and they try to extract as much cash and liquidity out of you as possible. They start offering you these bonuses, right? No employee would remember every single person that went through, right? And so this entire McDonald's is operated without a single human being. Only drive through. You just drive through, and they upsell you right through the uh, right through the drive through. It's an incredible, incredible business model for McDonald's, not having to pay for any labor. And so, what do you have when you have this force towards increasing wages? You're going to have people looking for ways in which they can a bring their costs down through automation and technology, and b take a market share because a lot of companies aren't going to be able to invest in these uh, robotic machinery, especially with high interest rates today. So. Look at Chipotle. Chipotle, what they're doing is very fascinating. So, Chipotle McDonald's executives on how cost could hit consumers when California minimum wage increases. Now, they say the cost of doing business in California could soon be slightly more expensive. The minimum wage increase in April. But what does that mean for many prices of fast food restaurants that employ hourly workers? A spokesperson of Chipotle confirmed with ABC News Thursday that as of now, the company has not made a decision to raise prices in California to offset the anticipated labor costs, right? However, the company's most recent earnings call, CFO Jack Hartung, addressed that labor cost changes will impact Chipotle's margins. We've been studying, we're going to have a pretty significant increase to our labor, he said. We haven't made a decision on exactly what level of pricing we're going to take, but to take the dollar cost of that and or margin part of that, we haven't decided where it will land. It's going to be mid to high single digit price increases, but we are definitely going to pass this on. We just haven't made a final decision of what level yet. McDonald's CEO, meanwhile, they addressed the same issue. Company's Q3 earnings call Monday saying that its impact is going to hit all of our competitors and the McDonald's will explore other areas outside of raising prices to offset increased labor costs. What does that mean? Automation, that's what that means, automation. And so when they can streamline their business to a level to where, let's say they're selling you know, a Big Mac combo for 15, 16 bucks, which is in many, in many of their stores, that is what the prices are, right? And their competitors, they have to pay increased minimum wage. They have to pay increased costs for insurance. They have all these increased, um, you know, expenses. What's going to happen? McDonald's going to have a competitive advantage, right? And so they can continue to beat up the middle class small business restaurant by decreasing prices when they have full control over their costs and expenditures. And so that's what we're walking into. We're going to walk into this period where there's going to be a lot of inflation. And then over the coming few years, next, I would say four to five years, we're going to start seeing deflation. Prices really start to come down. And that's when we're going to start to see a lot of problems for small business owners. It's going to be very, very gradual and then all at once. So when you look at this and then you see Chipotle, you know, they have a robot helper. So this robot helper, first Chipotle, had a robot making tortilla chips. Then another robot came helping up whipping guacamole. Then Chipotle is trying to have a robotic chef to make salads and bowls. Now, many people first, they might say, John, three years, four years, that's so long away, five years. In March of 2024, which is about seven months from now, that will be a four-year anniversary from when all of this insanity started. So a few years away is not long at all, right? So if you have a business, if you've ever started a business, you don't go from zero to a million dollars a year in the first year in most cases. You go from zero and then the first year is probably negative or maybe you made a little bit, you worked for free for you know a while. And then if you have a really good business and you're really supplying a lot of value, then maybe by year two, year three, you start to really hit the ground running. So three, four years to, you know, to kind of, prepare and plan for this is not that long at all. Um, the, fast, the fast casual chain is testing a new automated digital marketplace, market line, at its Chipotle cultivate, 
Center Innovation Hub in Irvine, California, where the previous robots were being put to the test. When an order comes in, via the Chipotle app, for instance, any bowl or salad are sent to the robotic system, which automatically dispenses the required ingredients. So you think about that. They, they're not going to be giving extra bonuses. It's going to be to the ounce, to the gram, is how much food they're going to be giving. It's going to be to a science. And they're going to probably have the same exact upsell type of technology that McDonald's is integrating already. I mean, why wouldn't they? It's the same company. McDonald's and Chipotle are the same. Uh, meanwhile, Chipotle team members can focus on making burritos, tacos, and quesadillas or kids' meals. Once the bowl or salad is complete, it pops up from the enclosed automated work process line through an opening in the countertop level where the human Chipotle employee work, a crew member, put, then puts a lid on the dish and adds additional items to the order, right? That's the first step. I mean, they need the human to put a lid on it right, to add a couple items. If the, if the robot can do that, the first step, they could probably do the second step. Um, then look at this. They say that we're going to see 85 million jobs being lost to automation by 2025, but this is where it all ties in. So the universal basic income is the safety net of the future, right? This came out in 2027. 2027, think about how crazy the universal basic income conversation was in 2027. But then you look at who's saying this. You have Jared Bernstein, who is senior fellow, the Center of Budget and Policy Priorities, former chief economist to Vice President Joe Biden. Jared Bernstein is a senior fellow of the Center of Budget and Policy Priorities during the Obama administration. He served as Vice President Joe Biden's chief economist and economic advisor, executive director of the White House Task Force on the Middle Class, and a member of President Obama's economic team. He is the author and co-author of numerous books, including his latest book, The Recommendation Agenda, Reuniting Growth and Prosperity. So, you have him talking about this. The universal basic income is the safety net of the future. I mean, this is what's going to happen. We're going to start seeing massive, massive displacement of jobs over the coming few years. And when I say that, you know, we're in the greatest wealth transfer of all time, I really do mean it. You know, in 2001, the dot-com bubble, you know, it was a crisis caused by humans, solved by humans. When we walked into 2007, 2008 situation, what happened? We had a housing crisis and a banking crisis caused by humans, solved by humans. But this upcoming crisis we're walking into with 17 plus trillion in consumer debt, you mean you have a trillion one in just credit cards, 1.6 trillion in student loans, 1.7 trillion in auto loans. You have a situation where we're seeing more defaults on bills than we've seen you know, almost ever. What's gonna happen, right? We're gonna see a very, very, very big crisis exactly right in front of us solved by automation technology, which is gonna bring prices down even further. And those businesses that don't have automation and the right systems in place are gonna have a very hard time competing in an environment where consumers have less disposable income, maybe they're getting a universal basic income and there are cheaper options available in the open market, right? That's what we're likely walking into. So, um, I mean, what do you think about this situation? They're even saying, imagine getting a check from the government every month, $600 guaranteed. It's happening in Finland, where a pilot program is being launched to test what's known as universal basic income. I mean, you drop below, you let me know. You think that's what we're walking into? Uh, also, if you'd like to fix your credit to position yourself for the greatest wealth transfer of all time, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, any negative item on your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description below this video. Schedule a free strategy session. I'll see you in the next one.